Oh my god, it stinks here, eh? Uh, look at this beautiful orange sunrise here in Milan, in Italy. The sad thing is, is it's rising over a hellhole. This slaughterhouse here. Huge slaughterhouse. They're all over the earth. A beautiful earth with a very dark underbelly. There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. And then it's just 24 seven? No. This runs 24 hours a day? No, 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 no. no. How many a day? All weekend, no. Uh, 10 hours? Let's just From say 10. Monday to Friday. 10 hours a day? Oh, this is about 1,500 to 2,000 a day, maybe. Um, five days a week. 10,000 a week. 500,000 a year. So they murder a few here in this murder factory. So I'm guessing this translates into the only difference is your attitude. Bobby calves are killed in the dairy industry, first day of life or a few weeks later for veal. Significant message, no matter what language you say it in. Hello doll, oh my God. Hello sweetie. Hey, it's okay. Oh, look at this one over here on the one just laying down here in the middle of the truck. They are so terrified. Oh my god, look how scared they are. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. You can actually tell that they've all got different personalities. Like some are a little bit more scared than others, some are a bit more curious. Others are, are more sad. Um, they've got these scratches on their body because they're just, they don't do well confined with each other. Look at that little face peeping out. They look really sad, these ones, hey. It's okay. And off they go. Inside there, to be electrical shocked in the head, stuck in the throat, and just chopped up into products. Like how terrible are those poor animals, what their, what their fate actually is in there. And people just consume them unknowingly, unconsciously consuming real sentient beings with personalities, terrified, scared, young animals, just such a tragedy. Mm. Mm, terrible. Abdullah, you were just saying how the back of that truck really smells, smells like their feces. Pigs are very clean animals. They hate being in their own feces, basically. If you have them in a sanctuary, they build a nest out of uh, hay and they will always go to the toilet outside of where they sleep. This is the animal's feces on the side of the truck. They defecate because they're scared, but they're forced to live in their own waste in those trucks and on those farms, and it's just horrible for them, like smelling them, their own waste and other animals' waste and being so close together. So empty trucks coming out. They once had lives in there, now they're, they're gone. Their whole life, their whole existence taken someone's bacon sandwich. It's, I can't think of a more, you know, higher injustice than that. Just so unfair. Wow, look how many. Hello. Hello, darling. They've got holes punched out in their ears. See that hole? Hello, hello. It's okay. It's okay, darling. I'm sorry, sweetheart. These poor babies are going to be killed, eh? Like, it's so sad. They're so scared. 
so young and just innocent looking. They have no idea what they're about to face in there, but it's just, it's just so tragic, man. And, and really unnecessary. They have a popular ham here called prosciutto and they, they keep the, the legs like at restaurants and they just cut slithers of the flesh off the leg. See, and they, they serve the, um, the legs of the animals here. They slice pieces off and eat them and they're unaware of where they come from. The slaughterhouse down the street. Crazy, right? The legs of these infant animals like you can smell their feces all over them. They live in their own feces and they die in their own blood. And that's supposed to be food. This truck carries their corpses to the restaurants where unknowing customers will dine on their, the corpses of the victims. That was uh, one of the first times in a long time that I've actually started tearing at my eyes. Like that angel, she had her ear like her ear was covering her eye and she was like sort of peeking outside of her eye. She was so shy and, and just depressed. They looked, looked so sad. Like that was really heart wrenching for me. And I don't know, it was just I, like, felt like bawling my eyes out for them, hey. So sad. That was so sad, eh? They're really sad, those animals. And no, it never gets easier, does it? Like, it's always sad. I, I actually think it gets harder to face them. I don't know, just every time the truck comes, it's just like more and more deeper emotion to it. Thank you everyone for coming. It's really cold and it's important that we are at the front of slaughterhouses so that they know that we know, the public know that we know, and that we are doing our best to speak up for the animals and share the photos as much as you can. That was quite a powerful vigil. Uh, very sad animals, very sad experience. Pulled my heartstrings a lot seeing those animals like that. Out of turn, oh, out of place, oh, such a waste. The angel. Things I wish Little puppy. I could say, but it's pigs are my favourite animal, but I shouldn't have favourites, but I've always just loved pigs since I was a kid, eh? Yeah.